So what comedy clubs would do is they would book these horrible condos. And I think we've talked about this before, but uh, the co horrible condos. And I mean, the f imagine the worst people you know. Comedians are the worst people you know, especially coming up comedians. We, or we, bands. We, or bands. We think we're living this wee life. Oh. We, we, everybody wants to be Aerosmith throwing TVs out the window. And uh, and we ain't, you know. Uh, and so you're living in these shitty hotels. like I, and, and Or condos. Hotels were bad enough. They were never great coming up. And then the club owner got smart and like, I'm going to write off a condo. I'm going to own a piece of property. Oh, that's and then, it, yeah. But I'm not going to clean it. Mm -hmm. uh, no, or, that's or an expense. the server, the girl that, you know, slings shots on Saturday night. She, she needs an, an extra, extra 40 bucks. <laughs> if that, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I would show up to these condos and it was and by condo, condo sounds so much nicer. I don't know why every comedy club calls it a comedy it's club apartment. condo. Shitty apartment. It's a shitty apartment complex apartment. With two or, bedrooms. Yeah. Two bedrooms. And then what happened was a comic. So there was a point in the 80s when fucking comics would show up and whoever got the first would do, and there's a comic that would take the refrigerator and put it, roll it into their room. And then they would start taking like all the TV oh would be put in their room <laughs> yeah. and they would steal shit. Wow. And uh, so you wanted to get to the con, it was so weird. You wanted to get to it first. Mm -hmm. But I remember going into scuzziest places and just, uh, the funny uh, bone did so headliner yeah, room and a feature people. room, but also then you're showing up and you're staying in a tiny little apartment with someone that you don't know. And I remember back then, like female comedians, it wasn't something anybody paid attention to. Mm -hmm. But I remember the first person to ever say something, Tracy Ashley, brilliantly funny comedian. She's a writer on a yep. show now. Um, her agent manager was... Um, Rich Miller, right. uh, Rich Dennis Miller, Miller's yeah. brother. And uh, he requested that she have a hotel room because of things that had happened to her oh. from the, the mm. male counterpart at night when she was trying to sleep. And so there's, think about, that's a whole other layer of anxiety, but nasty, nasty. They also put her bed into their room. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah, sleep. Yeah. Things hey, that happened, doing? like there, I told so you. So you're going to open for me? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I told you this and you know, but comic, you're right, comics are gross. And um, and we had, you know, m my Memphis club, we had a condo, but it was actually in a beautiful, nice place in memphis um but there was an incident where a comedian who's no longer alive something happened and i got called to that condo the apartment the next day before kirby the server cleaned it and um there was blood everywhere on the walls all over the toilet seat up the back of the toilet soaked into the mattress like through the sheets the cover into the mat i mean blood holy shit everywhere and he died yeah a couple within the next two weeks um uh, he had had a girl in there. I don't. I don't know. I still don't wow. know. Wow! And did he give birth? Oh, Jesus Christ! Random, random shit we would find and would happen yeah. in the uh, needles. Uh, I, you, uh, so at the time, I fell to a bonfire when I was seventeen. People, people in my comedy do that. That story. And so I'd be on the road, teetotaling life, being you know, I, I drink wine. I was, I was literally like, I'm going, yay! I was, I was Richie Cunningham, and these I was Richie guys, Cunningham, like guys snorting coke off the coffee yeah. table in front of me, and and, and, and I was like 19, 20, 21 at some point. It was really bad. Hey guys, you can't yeah. do that. That's guys, against this is the wrong. law. What if the cops show up? <laughs> <laughs> My voice cracking the whole time, mm -hmm. drinking, just and not comics have this thing where girls every girl, night, you just and, and not quality no. girls like no. girl like whoa whoa no. whoa can you squeegee her off before she <laughs> yeah. sits down please bro how did oh. you i didn't even think about that so you're in uh your room and right next door is yeah bang that. yeah 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 and they'd be and, and and it's funny because everybody uh if you are if you're a performer and you know you're a uh horrible human being with all these weird addictions People, ever people try to kind of reel you into their bullshit. Oh, yeah. Like, no, drink with us, man. Come, yeah. come on. Yeah. Come on. Drink with us. Do some Coke. Come on. Let's see what happens. I don't, I know what happens. I fell into a bonfire. <laughs> That's what happened to me. So, did I, you ever stay in condos after you became a headliner? Because I don't no. see you allowing other people to do that on your, not on my watch, Mr. Man. Uh, that's how I see you. <laughs> that's being. how I used to be. Then I got, then I, yeah, then I got violent. Uh, you decided uh, to go to hotels. I after that. Very early on, well, I would do these one nighters all the time. And the one nighters were worse because uh, the comedies on tours were just like, 
It, it was it was the worst smallest towns where they put one show up. Bands probably do this too mm -hmm. in the shittiest club in yep. town um, with no lights, and yeah. it, it's a it's a weird guy from like from Walking Tall. The original Buford Pusser is like <laughs> yeah. gonna pay you, and you're like, am I getting paid? Am I making it out of the fucking parking lot? Like yep. it, like it, and so and they would put us up in the like one of those hotels, the murder hotels. Is uh, yeah, we're basically okay. I'm on the bottom floor, open to the parking lot with uh, with the door. No. Door. door made yeah. out of old paper plates glued together <laughs> yeah. with a doorknob stuck on it so i'll be fine that's what our buddy slade who we had we did a podcast with they called it a murder cabin there is a club currently in arkansas that puts non-special engagements which is what he is in a cabin in the middle of the woods near the guy's house and slade calls it a murder cabin and oh round about midnight 1 a.m the owner shows up completely hammered with a bottle wants of to hang out with jesus christ and banging on though i want to he hell? wants to hang out with the comics i mean with an axe too totally exactly. but i guess slade said to the guy hey you don't get to put me up in a murder cabin and then come here at one o'clock in the morning shit faced and get me out of bed yeah. And locked him out. Um, so Slade doesn't get booked there anymore. <laughs> but <laughs> but that's normal, right? I mean, the culture that was around normal, totally normal. Yeah, comedy it, condos is so it, also bookers, dark. Bookers went through a thing, and I don't know if band guys were like this. First of all, you're the band. You're the reason people are there having fun. I'm a comic. I'm the reason. I've never. It's.